Yeah, so you heard from the title, I'm going to be reviewing Josh Shane Jekyll's playlist, Sarah Souls. If you don't know who these two legends are, <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to be linking you all their stuff. It's going to take me like an hour, maybe at most, to find out everything like their Instagram, their Twitter, everything you need to know in the description for you to go check them out. Um, I first, uh, first artist I ever met was Josh, and, uh, it was, like, way, way back that he was still growing and everything, and his music was getting better, and I stuck with him a long, a long, long time with that, and then when he ever, when he did collapse with Jake Hill, it was, it was freaking fire, and now I found, oh my gosh, I found uh, in high school I met this one one person who who listened to Jake Hill, and uh, I got him to listen to Josh A and Jake Hill some of their songs together that they did, and he loved that as well. And me and him we were like or we were like straight up brothers, man. T towards towards that day, towards towards that day, like we we have so much in common. And now we we just like keep each other um, posted with like Josh A and J Kill's um, stuff like all the time. Like what's been going on because we both love their songs. Like they're 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 like really geniuses of what they make in music. For this genre specifically, I like both of them when they collab together and when they make a song that. The genre is like really, really dark and has this feeling of like depression and all that. But not, you don't really feel like it has depression. It's just, it puts you in a certain mood that only like it's made for you to understand. And from the titles and from the lyrics that you hear, you feel well connected from these words of what both of them are saying. So. From this, uh, Save Our Souls, there's about, let me see, one, two, eight songs? I thought there was nine. Let me check. Alright, so I'm gonna, just gotta review, uh, Josh's, Josh A and JK, Worst Mistakes, so. Alright, now I just got done listening to it. I'm sorry I can't play the music, cause you know, Copyright, even though it's even though it's fair use, I'm trying to get monetized on my channel so I can make some money. So I'm trying not to like risk my channel. You know, I'm very thankful for the growth that um, this channel has been going. So I can I had to listen to the song I think about like four times <laughs> because I wasn't paying attention the first two times, maybe three times. I wasn't paying attention to the lyrics of how Josh was anticipating um, when he said, I've been making the worst of mistakes. Um, yeah. All the worst mistakes, all the worst mistakes of my life. The way that he anticipated was a little bit heavy. I could, I, I don't know if that's something for you, you guys that don't, <laughs> don't find that heavy but I feel like he anticipated that really heavily for worst mistakes I feel like the message is like in life when you make like worst mistakes from the, from the song or the title from the song I feel like you can't run away from your mistakes and that either you have to deal with your mistakes that you made or I can't find another answer for that I know there's something else that you either do with your mistakes or something else I feel like this is like sort of what this the message of the song is like telling me every time I listen to it and it's it's fire so next one is save our souls from Josh and Jake what a creative name for the album save our souls alright for, for save our souls um, this one, this one was very interesting, how 
when I was listening how Josh and then Jake shifted their lyric, their verses, I mean. Um, when Jake started, uh, he said, don't put your love in, don't put your love in me, cause, or don't put your faith in me because love it because love with me is worthless i feel like then he also said a couple of lyrics like i'm not writing this down it's just like what what i like i can remember some of their lyrics and um he anticipated more i feel like when he and josh josh um he anticipated that or no jake anticipated that um he wants to go back to his old ways and not to put your love and faith. I think when they both shifted their verses, you you guys just gotta check their songs. This is really good. Um, I feel like they. I feel like the message here is like, don't put your faith into someone that like wants to that you ex that you want to have expectations from them, but they can't fulfill your expectations. They just want them to be how they are and not having to break your heart or anything. I feel like that's what the answer, excuse me, is from listening to the song. This could be another message, but I feel like this is like what more stands out to me of what Jake says in the beginning of his verse and then shifts this to Josh. And I think they go back at it, I think, two more times during this whole song, and then to say a couple more lyrics. So I think that's what this song is anticipating, to not have expectations into someone that won't fill your expectations in a relationship or anything, or else they'll break your heart or anything. And they don't want you to put your expectations of faith on them because they want to go back to the way that they are. I think that's what... They try to say in this one. So next one up is "Lost You in the Fire" by Josh and Jake. All right. So for this one, this one is definitely have a meaning with breakups. I'm pretty sure it's about that. So, um, when Jake said "I lost you in the fire," I feel like when you and your partner break up, no, break up, and he said in the song that I don't want to see your face I feel like it's going through the stages of a breakup when usually in a breakup like the girl usually girls cry and then they go through the process of rehabilitating themselves to get better and all free guys usually they just don't I don't know this is just like what I think they just don't do anything until they start feeling guilty and everything and just start crying about them and they miss them but i feel like they anticipate this one in a different twist like they don't want to see them no more and they miss them and jake said that um i think burning the ashes something he said something about the ashes like it's it's burning because i i I don't know the because, but um, I know it's like something that he's referencing from the ashes of what um of what he was anticipating. I'm I'm just gonna keep using that word throughout this whole video. Holy crap! But um, yeah, I feel like that's what they're excuse me bringing the message in this one. It's just like a breakup song, but like in a different twist that you won't expect for a breakup song to be what you anticipated or what you expect it to be. So next one is Heartbreaks from Josh A and Jake Hill. This one's gonna be a doozy. Now this one, whenever Josh uploaded this one, I already knew it was about a breakup song. It's basically a generic breakup song. And I feel like they nailed this one pretty well, honestly. And some of the, some of the verses that both of them were saying was very just just very not generic it's just like it's just like what expected to be there like jake's verse i think it's halfway so like half um i think like the first minute and a half is josh's verse then when it switches to jake's verse that's when it stand out to me when he said heart aches every time i see your face now 
I fell in love with your face, but not your soul. That one right there, that verse, like, um, stand out because I, I, I'm gonna admit, I'm gonna admit, like, half, I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm gonna, like, take the blame here for all the boys in the world that falls in love with girls' looks and everything instead of what's in the inside. I feel like it's just this one i okay so it's previously what lost you in the fire is just like a breakup song but a different twist but for this one it's like you you're you're broken up you broke up with someone and i feel like it's just how you either you treat them or how you no no, no not how you treat them how you value them i feel like it's sort of like that because of what jake's verse was and then jo josh was josh is just um I think he was just going like, um, dang, I, ju I just listened to this, man, I just gotta, like, remember what I heard, but, um, he said that I won't, I, yeah, something that I won't be okay, I won't be fine, like, he admits that he won't be fine, because, you know, you, you're, you're broken up, dude, you're not gonna be okay, unless you're people, unless you're the people that don't deal with issues now, but later. It's still gonna come with a heart aching when you cry to when you cry from all those times you spent with that person. Now it's all over. It's all done. You won't see them anymore, and you can't wake. And I and I think he said that like, he won't wake up towards the next day and everything. But um, yeah. So for this one, this one definitely hits the top notch of top 10 breakup songs like i, I don't i don't want to like sound positive about this one being like a heart like a breakup song i know in life relationships won't go perfect it's it's fine and everything i'm just saying like this is like a song if you're ever in a sort of type of feeling or if you're i, I don't want to say it but if you're already broken up with someone then i feel like this is like the song for you to listen to it's just my recommendation. I don't want to sound like a jerk or anything. It's just what I think people should listen to. If not, then it's completely fine because people can have um, songs that they can listen to. Me, I listen to any song, but these two, they're my favorite artists. So next one is Not Enough from Josh A.J. Kill featuring Darko. So this one's going to be really interesting because Darko's going to be in this one. So let's listen. So, for this one, it's basically Lost You in the Fire, Heartbreaks. I feel like those three songs combined, it's just one massive breakup song. <laughs> it's just for this one, this one, not enough. This one feels like the aftermath. So, Josh's verses is just basically that you led them into his head and you made him suicidal from... All the things I'm assuming that you would go through through a relationship. Excuse me. That. Excuse me. There's the burp. Um. Shoot, I forgot what I say. But uh, yeah. Shoot, I. There was more to it from Josh's verse, but I was paying attention to Darko's verse that. That um, he said that I don't. Uh, shoot, oh my gosh. Um, I think, I don't care. No, something, it was not that. It was just like, if you're scared, like, you being scared if your partner does not care at all that you broke up with them. And I remembered. Now, from Josh's verses, he, in this in the song, he anticipated that it wasn't enough that you, yourself, the person, put into the relationship and yet the person broke up with you over it. And now, Jake's verse was actually, I don't know how to say it. It's just like, for his verse, it was anticipating that, like, uh, crap. I know, it was, I know it was something else, but it was also anticipating that if you ever want to come back and reunite to re- redate and everything that's or not or like get back together that's what i mean that's what he was anticipating in his verse of the song um yeah 
this one i feel like this one is a little bit more steady than lost you in the fire heartbreaks i feel like i had a steady tone like i think it starts i think it was like a guitar that it was starting off and yeah and then oops oops okay okay uh song 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 okay Oh, okay. Well, the next one's gonna be, uh, Better, Better Alone. This song, this song is gonna be very, very interesting because this one is my personal favorite. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be talking a lot about this one in a bit. This, oh my gosh, I love this one. I think I heard this about almost four times because the two verses that Josh and Jake was saying on this one, really, it, it was, it was, it's just really good. I just love it. So, Jake anticipated that he doesn't want to waste your time. And he says that if if you believe me, I wasn't built for love, that I can't even love myself. Ooh, it's just, the, mm, I just love how he anticipated that. So it's just basically, if you ever wanted to be in love with someone, but they don't want to be in love with you because they weren't made for that or what he anticipated and built for it. Like he don't know what love is and he doesn't want to waste your time or anything and he prefers himself or you or as a person to be alone. And then Josh... Oh my gosh, I love the transitioning from Jake's verse to Josh's verse. He said, I've been, I've been wasting all my effing time. <laughs> oh my gosh. That right there, it says, Ugh, I just love that part. And then Josh anticipated that. What was, what was it? Like, why is it? What is worth fighting for? That that's what he's anticipating. What is like worth fighting for if he if he wants to be alone and doesn't want well what Jake wants. Well what, not, not what Jake wants, but from Jake's verse from um, not being built for love and there's no reason to fight for fight for it, but it's been stressing him out. And that and that right there, that's like the most powerful song I feel like that's in this album. It's just from that song. That, this song is the one song I have to recommend everybody to listen to. Just at least once, because you can definitely feel it. Alright, so the next one is Won't Die Young. This one, um, this one is blocked for some reason, so I'm just going to be... Looking at uh, another video that someone posted because for some reason it's blocked in my country. So yeah, won't die from Josh and JQ. Let's get it. Okay, I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not afraid to say this. Okay, this sounds very suicidal. Just, just a little bit. Okay. It was not from the from the first couple of. of I think almost a minute from Jake's verse. If you decide to go listen to this one, it's basically that. Uh, yes, it's it sounds really suicidal that uh, you you want to change to be a different person and everything. And when Josh anticipated that, like, don't like, just like don't end your life and try to become a different person. But from Jake's second verse, it was I felt like it was pretty true. Because I feel like some people in this world feels like they're a burden or they give people pressure or anything and they don't want them to worry about them anymore and just, you know, just end their life. It's, it's really, it's really sad how people are in this world that they're just really just like that and I... I, I do not want to see a person to be like that. And this song actually reminds me of uh, my middle school my middle school days where I used to feel like that. Like, when I was in middle school, I used to feel like that. Like, I really wanted to kill myself at one point in my life, but not anymore. 
I just found a new meaning. I found purpose and everything. And I feel like this is what the song is anticipating. Like, don't kill yourself or don't end, or don't do it. But it's also it's also spinning out facts that you feel like a burden, a pressure to anybody. And yes, there's other reasons as well as my is what my led you to that. But please, if anybody, don't don't do it. Please, just just for my sake, because. I want everybody to be alive and healthy and well and live out their lives, okay? This song just puts me on my concern. It's just the way that I'm explaining it right now. And afterwards, I don't want anybody to be in this feeling. Never, okay? Don't. Or else I'm going to cry. And yes, I am very sensitive to people. Even if I don't meet them or don't know them, I'll still feel sympathy for them. Alright, next one is Cycles from Josh and Jake. So one ooh, this one's gonna be good. Okay, for this one, um for this one, Cycle, I love I love the transversal for this one, just like Better Alone. And I feel like this one is anticipating that you're going through some sort of cycle that you're like a puppet to someone and you keep using them. Because when it switches to Josh's verse, you can use me up no more. I feel I feel like he's anticipating like what I said what I said previously like you're you're like a puppet to someone someone's using you and you're trapped and you can't get out and you can't break it so that's why it's like a cycle I feel like that's given the name cycle for that reason like it's going over and over like you feel trapped and you can't get out or anything like that and I feel like it's what I feel like the song is what it's anticipating. Last song is Brighter from Josh and Jake. Can't wait. Alright, for this one, I feel like it's an aftermath. You have to look on the positive side. I think this is what the video is anticipating because Josh's verse is one. He doesn't want to go back there and he doesn't want to throw his life away. I feel like you're giving up your soul for something that you don't want to do, that you don't want to do, but I feel like you have to do it, like there isn't a choice. And then I think he said a little bit later in his verse that he tries to show his friends the brighter days, like brighter things, like the positive things instead of the negative things. For And for Jake's verse, it was really hard for me to digest to, excuse me, what Jake was um, trying to anticipate as well. I didn't understand, like, what he was trying to say to me. It, it's it's kind of it's kind of weird because all these bring messages, but just, this one's just you try. You just have to be positive and just live through all. Oh, I get it. You're trying to live out through all the stress and everything because it's just something about stress on your back. But I feel like you just gotta keep your head up and keep going and go in a positive direction. So, that's why I think Brighter is anticipating. So, yeah. Um, this is just going to be my first and my only review on this album. They're going to make more albums in the future. And I'll make more videos about them in the future. Because these two are my favorite artists now. I, but if I have to choose, I have to say, I just have to say Josh. Just because I, I, I've been through him a little bit longer than Jake. But Jake is also a good artist too. And I listen to some of his songs as well. And it's really, it's really good. And here's the part when I say go check them out. Because I'm going to have so many stuff in the description. Their Twitter, their Instagram, all that stuff that I can find. All that's going to be there. All the songs that I and I digest, analyze, or talked about in this video. I'm going to put them in the order that I was listening to. So you guys can go. Um, listen for yourselves, and if you are J.K. and Josh J. fans, let me know what's your favorite song down below, and that's all. My name is Sandy C390 Jordan, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.